Hello everyone, so I'm back with a bit of a Games Workshop slash Forge World treat for you. And I say treat for you, it's actually a treat for me. I've wanted this kit for as long as I can remember. This is my all-time favourite model that GW slash Forge World have ever made, and it is the Imperial Arvus Lighter. Pretty much pointless in games, however it is, shall we just say, cool AF? I don't want to swear too far into the start of the video. We'll wait till later on for the expletives to come out. So, I've wanted this kit for so long. There are rules for it in the Horus Heresy. There's rules for it in Imperial Armour books to run it in 40k. What I'm interested in running it in is some kind of weird Necromunda INQ28 hybrid. And basically this is going to be the runner to transport my gang around as they go and do kind of badass, like, stuff, for want of a better word. So it is a small flyer, uh, so it comes with a flying stand, base, etc. I don't believe that it originally came with this because the model doesn't appear to have anywhere for that to stick into it. They've had to create an extra moulded piece to stick on the bottom of the Arvus and then that then slots into the base. So what we'll do is we'll just organise as much of this stuff as I can and then we'll have a look through it all. Um, this won't be a build along video, it's just literally an unbagging or un I guess unbagging in this uh, instance and we'll have a flick through everything, have a look at the pieces, and then in later videos, it might be a case that I have built it and can talk you through it. But if you want to watch sort of stage by stage assembly, not promising that I'll be able to do anything just yet. I generally have quite a backlog of models and take my time with each of them. And um, there's no sort of rushing really uh, with me. <laughs> um, I paint quite slowly. So, into this bag of little bits here, and bits and treats, etc. So we've got all sorts going on here. Some really lovely details and bits. There's something else down there. Ah, that's the pilot guy. Cool, there we go. So that is everything laid out. That is what you get when you buy a Forge World Arvus lighter. So, the instructions you can see are here are all the pieces and the component list and then on the other side it gives you that as the instructions so literally no help here at all however it is relatively straightforward to place together so we've got the two halves of the hull see these massive uh, gates pouring gates here so yeah they'll need to be snipped or sawn through and we've got some beautiful detail in there on the inside and the back of it opens up so you can see into there so I will be painting all of the detail so those bits kind of attach together and you can see there's some overlap at the front as well and I've been told that this is probably the most prone to warping part of the whole kit so we'll have to wait and see whether or not I've been lucky and then that is the top of the lighter and you can see again some beautiful details, some panelling and cables going on there. We've got some overlap, so that slots sort of together. And that part will go into that hole. And yeah, that'll look really nice. I love these sort of extra um, luggage compartments, I guess, on the side as well with the little aquillas. And that is the front. So that is where the pilot will go. Let's just get it into focus. So we've got, um, I don't think that's actually a gun. I think it is just some kind of targeting device. And then this is the pilot. So he slots into there. The detail on him is absolutely fantastic as well. So definitely gonna be painting that up separately. And then we have the cockpit slots into there as well. So it's not going properly in. And these bits are just bits of flash, so that shouldn't actually be see-through like that. Although you could leave it like that, I guess, and just paint over the top of it. But what they do provide you with, let's pop that down now, is a sheet of sort of perspexy. Uh, well, it's not perspex, it's, it's like 
polyethylene plastic and you can line the insides of that so you can have see-through windows in it so that's really nice touch so you can have one or the other I guess if you were to leave that sort of flash although I doubt that it's meant to be like that so that's those parts we then have the jumbo engines and the detailing on these again they look so realistic with all the pipe work the sort of modules <laughs> and, and detailing and bits and pieces all of the rivets on it look fantastic uh, there's a little bit of mold slip just there but i believe that that is in, on a hidden part we got some more nozzles just there um with fans in so that looks pretty cool i presume that they're part of the vtol part of it if this is vtol i'm not 100 percent and then more cabling etc so this is going to go onto the side of this and I think I picked up the wrong one so it should when that blocks taken off there somehow go on to go onto the side of, of this thing not 100% sure exactly which way but then we also get these wings coming off it as well so yeah the wings just fairly flat pieces some detail in on it they've got a little headlight at the bottom yeah so a little headlight there so chance for some osl glow possibly and yeah just some nice bits on the wings as well so obviously two of those around the back of it there is the aforementioned hatch so that will go on there and that will be able to move so you just need to make sure that the super glue doesn't go anywhere near that all kinds of other pieces we've got some nozzles here presumably that will fit onto the back of the engines there and that will look quite nice so that's those two random other bits not 100% sure what that is it's a MacGuffin or something rather like that we've got this part here tiny little piece and that goes on the inside of the cockpit it's some kind of targeter or something along those lines for the pilot to use that is the aforementioned flight stand add-on so that will just get stuck onto the onto the bottom of the hull we've already had a look at the pilot and then we've just got these two pieces which are identical and these are the landing gears so they will attach to the bottom of the Arvis if you wanted the landing gears down or not I think having the landing gears down um, will be the way to go for sure just adds an extra element of sort of detail to it if nothing else but we have the pair of those so they'll be being added they'll be scuffed up um, sort of metal with dirt and mud sort of encrusted around them as it lifts the gang that I'm going to put inside it in and out of combat or stealth missions or whatever they decide to do so that is my unbagging unboxing and looking at the Arvis lighter so like I say it is available for a few of the Horus LC armies actually Mechanicum can use them I believe that the militias can use them as well and the Solar Auxilia I think is the name of the basically the guard from back in the day back in the day in the, in the far distant future paint scheme wise I'm still trying to decide I think it's going to be fairly neutral I think it's going to be sort of a grey it's going to be super battered out and worn kind of like the Ambot that I did for Necromunda as well recently if you want to have a look at that it'll be either up on the screen if I can find the photo or if you want to flick through my Instagram digital underscore llama then you'll be able to find it that way and check it out but yeah lots of weathering sort of greys but possibly with a couple of go faster stripes down the wings or something like that I think would look pretty badass so hopefully you enjoyed that let me know if you are also a fan of the old Arvis lighter I'd love to hear from anyone else that is passionate about this bit of kit thanks very much for watching I'll be back soon with either some more Warhammer videos or some more card games from Magic to Pokemon to old school Star Wars lord of the rings etc until then take care of yourselves i will catch you soon cheers for watching ta -ra.